Welcome to Wagaman, Kerala, India. This beautiful hill station is located in the Western Ghats mountains and is known for its lush green meadows, rolling hills, and serene lakes. Wagaman is a popular tourist destination for both Indians and foreigners alike, offering a variety of activities to enjoy, including trekking, camping, boating, and bird watching. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of Wagaman, showcasing some of its most popular tourist attractions. We'll also share some tips on how to make the most of your trip to Wagaman. First, we'll visit the Wagaman Meadows, a sprawling expanse of green meadows that is perfect for trekking, camping, and picnicking. Next, we'll head to the Pine Valley, a beautiful forest of pine trees that is a great place to go for a walk or a bike ride. We'll also visit the Thandalpara Peak, the highest point in Wagaman. From the top of the peak, you can enjoy stunning views of the surrounding hills and valleys. Finally, we'll end our tour at the Wagaman Lake, a serene lake that is perfect for boating and fishing. If you're looking for a relaxing and scenic getaway, Wagaman is the perfect place for you. With its lush green meadows, rolling hills, and serene lakes, Wagaman offers something for everyone. So come with us on a tour of Wagaman and experience the beauty of this hidden gem in Kerala, India. Wagaman is a beautiful hill station located in the Idukki district of Kerala, India. It is situated at an altitude of 1,100 meters above sea level and is known for its lush green meadows, rolling hills, and serene lakes. Wagaman is also home to a rich history and culture. The earliest inhabitants of Wagaman were the tribals, who lived in the area for centuries. The tribals were followed by the Ayans, who migrated to Wagaman from North India around 1000 BC. The Ayans brought with them their culture and religion, which had a profound impact on the development of Wagaman. In the 1st century AD, Wagaman came under the rule of the Chera dynasty. The Cheras were a powerful dynasty that ruled over Kerala and parts of Tamil Nadu for over a thousand years. During the Chera rule, Wagaman flourished as a center of trade and commerce. In the 11th century AD, Wagaman was conquered by the Chola dynasty. The Cholas were another powerful dynasty that ruled over South India for over 500 years. During the Chola rule, Wagaman continued to be a center of trade and commerce. In the 16th century AD, Wagaman came under the rule of the Portuguese. The Portuguese were European explorers who arrived in India in the late 15th century. The Portuguese ruled Wagaman for over a hundred years. In the 17th century AD, Wagaman was conquered by the Dutch. The Dutch were another European power that arrived in India in the early 17th century. The Dutch ruled Wagaman for over 50 years. In the 18th century AD, Wagaman came under the rule of the British. The British were the last European power to rule Wagaman. The British ruled Wagaman for over 150 years. In 1947, India gained independence from British rule. Wagaman became a part of the newly independent India. Since independence, Wagaman has developed into a popular tourist destination. The people of Wagaman are known for their warm hospitality and simple lifestyle. The culture of Wagaman is influenced by its diverse history. The tribals, Ayans, Cheras, Cholas, Portuguese, Dutch, and British have all played a role in shaping the culture of Wagaman. The main language spoken in Wagaman is Malayalam. However, many people in Wagaman also speak English and Hindi. The people of Wagaman are mostly Hindus and Christians. However, there is also a small Muslim community in Wagaman. The people of Wagaman are known for their love of music and dance. There are many traditional folk dances and songs that are performed in Wagaman. The people of Wagaman are also known for their delicious food. Some of the popular dishes from Wagaman include appam, stew, and biryani. Here are some of the cultural attractions and activities that you can experience in Wagaman. Visit the Kurishumala Ashram, a Christian monastery that is located on a hilltop in Wagaman. The monastery is known for its peaceful atmosphere and its stunning views of the surrounding hills and valleys. Attend a Kathakali performance. Kathakali is a traditional dance form from Kerala. Kathakali performances are held regularly in Wagaman. There are several tribal villages located in the vicinity of Wagaman. You can visit a tribal village to learn about the culture and traditions of the tribals. Wagaman is a breathtaking hill station in Kerala, India, with captivating meadows, pine forests, and a serene lake. Here are some popular places to see when you visit. 
The Wagaman Meadows are sprawling expanse of green grass at an altitude of 1,100 meters above sea level in Wagaman, Kerala, India. The climate is cool and pleasant throughout the year, and the meadows offer stunning views of the surrounding hills and valleys. Popular activities include trekking, camping, and picnicking. The Pine Valley in Wagaman, Kerala, India, is a beautiful forest of pine trees located at an altitude of 1,100 meters above sea level. The valley is known for its cool climate, stunning views, and variety of flora and fauna. Popular activities include hiking, bird watching, and photography. Thangalpara Peak is the highest point in Wagaman, Kerala, India, at 1,100 meters above sea level. It is a popular trekking destination for its stunning views of the surrounding hills, valleys, and lakes. On a clear day, you can even see the Arabian Sea in the distance. Wagaman Lake is a serene lake located in the heart of Wagaman, Kerala, India. It is a popular spot for boating, fishing, and simply relaxing and enjoying the natural beauty. The lake is also home to a variety of bird life, making it a great place for bird watching. If you are planning to visit, here are some tips to plan your travel. The best time to visit Wagaman is during the winter months, October to March, when the weather is cool and pleasant. The summer months, April to June, can be quite hot and humid, while the monsoon season, July to September, can bring heavy rains. The best way to get there is to fly. The nearest airport to Wagaman is the Kochi International Airport, Kok, which is located about 100 kilometers away. There are regular taxis and buses available from the airport to Wagaman. Wagaman has a variety of accommodation options to choose from, including budget hotels, homestay, and resorts. It is advisable to book your accommodation in advance, especially if you are traveling during the peak season. Wagaman is a relatively safe place to visit, but it is always advisable to be aware of your surroundings and take precautions against petty theft. Wagaman is a hill station, so it is important to pack warm clothes, even if you are visiting during the summer months. Wagaman is a beautiful place to visit, but it is important to be respectful of the environment. We hope this journey has awakened your curiosity and inspired you to seek out the world's diverse and captivating places. Accompany us on our next or inspiring journey to discover more iconic landmarks and attractions. If you are enjoying our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from us.